Anytime now. Can't believe this thing's still moving. We actually made it. <laughs> That's crazy. Street sweeper. And then, of course, I hit boulders I'm not used to seeing. The graphic four. Yeah, I just, I, I can't go into the hospital. That's a death sentence. The uh, same city or a new city? What do you think? Ooh, can we make that? One, two, three, four, five. Theoretically, we can scooch right on through if I can get it lined up properly. Yep, yeah, that's lined up properly. If we don't drift, watch, we're gonna drift. Oh, son of a bitch. Uh, uh. <laughs> oh, uh, hey there, turrets. <laughs> Riot control platforms again. No north for us. Mill surplus. Uh, if it's a, it is its own city, and we're already dead center. So, a hardware store, a hardware store, and a sporting goods. That does us no good. Um, I think it's going to be woods to the west or the east. <laughs> oh, hey, another APC. And it's got gas. <clears throat> let's uh, let's stop and take a look at our vehicle that is somehow still operational. I better not stop. Oh my goodness. <laughs> we still got our wheels. I can't believe the engine compartment that's right out front is still hanging in there and still in pretty good shape, actually. Uh-oh. We're going to run out of battery. We're going to stop driving because of our battery draining. That's going to hit zero and we'll be done. Um, yeah, let's, uh, whoops, let go of controls. No wheels. Grenade launcher. Another perfect diesel engine. All right, let's see if we can uh, find another town before the vehicle stops working. Yeah, I could probably grab a vehicle. Ah, oh, FEMA camp dead end. Well, that doesn't help me. Now we are, unless there's a road running north out of here to somewhere else, we're out of options. Really? Really? This I was supposed to see from that zoom level? <laughs> really? Really? <laughs> All right. Death by giant wasp guard. What a surprise. Oh, just a regular wasp. <laughs> oh, man. Uh. So, we're still on full auto. Well, let's just leave it on full auto. Fire. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, 19%. <laughs> uh, I hate wasps. 
I hate wasps. The size of that graphic, it does not do justice to the danger level. <laughs> of course, that's just the regular wasp. The real danger is the, the one over here. <laughs> Which is a much bigger graphic, at least. That one I would have known about. <laughs> but I, I, I didn't even notice that guy. I thought I just saw him as background clutter like a flower or something. Oh, man. Yeah. Wasp is not dead or is dead? I hit him for one damage. He's not... Yeah, he's not dead. It looked like he was dead. I was like, what the hell? Totally missed. And now he's dead. Now we're about out of ammo as well. Uh, so yeah, we're not going to worry about trying to get... <laughs> oh, we're at 4%. Guess we are gonna worry about it. Oh, they're coming to get me. Okay, this one is about done because we're gonna we're gonna stop driving here momentarily. Would have been nice if I could have gotten that uh, that battery. That's all right. This one's over anyway. <laughs> Let's see. Hey, there is a road. No ambulances. That looked like another fire truck. I assume that's a fire truck wreck. What kind of vehicle is that? Mobile meth lab. Won't have antibiotics. Hunting lodge. I don't think I've been into a hunting lodge. I've been into a hunting lodge? I have. It's been a while. I don't. I don't think I've been in a hunting lodge. Um. Ah. Farm with bad guys. Uh oh. Motel? Yeah. Van? You van. I mean, a map would be nice. What, what speed are we at now? We've got pain, cold, infection, and lack of sleep. 63 speed. We're almost running at half speed. Nah, I don't think a map. While it would be nice, I don't think it's going to keep us alive. percent I'd rather die in a city <laughs> than to die... Oh, Migo Scout. Hey there, Migo Scout. Clean backpack. Vodka. Nothing else, though. Come on, get me to a city before you die, please. I don't want to hoof it. Uh. <laughs> That's not what I needed. No. A helicopter crash sites. That a uh, woo, that's a really messed up one. Was it a medevac helicopter? Small helicopter, really small. Hmm, it's got steel drum of fuel. Ouch! Guess we're back on a road. Oh, don't don't stop! Don't stop near the wasps! Ah, they're all mad. <laughs> oh, it's a it's a radio tower wasp nest. The vehicle's gonna stop right here in the proximity of all these wasps. Get me past these things. So many wasps now. Is 
Zero percent. Oh, light industry does not solve my problems. Roadside food cart does not solve my problems. Whoops, smashing into vehicles also does not solve my problems. All right, another town at least. Um, oh, look at that, ambulance. All we gotta do is go grab our broad spectrum antibiotics, hop in the ambulance driver's seat and drive away in our shiny new vehicle. And then we'll be saved. I need to get these 18 turkeys recruited to the Vorm army. Hey, you guys, I need you over here. <laughs> Come distract these things. Let's see. How to deal with this. Do I try to lead zombies away? Just to end up having more and more zombies show up? Very loud vehicle should be drawing them to me. Bothering me that I can't see. <laughs> Except for the 180 degrees out the front of the vehicle. I need to make sure they can keep seeing me and hearing the vehicle, otherwise I might lose them. Alright. What do you think? Stop the vehicle up here? Fortunately, I'm going to leave it running. It's going to attract enemies. We're moving super slow, so we're not likely to survive this trip down to the ambulance. Ambulance is going to end up being empty. And we're grabbed. Yeah, we're not going to survive this. I <laughs> uh, shouldn't have bothered. Now we don't have the strength to break the grab. Alright, so we're gonna die right here. <laughs> Alright, last one with your life. No thanks. Okay, attempt number one. Barney the first is done. Yeah, yeah. We know, we know. World. Bookmobile reset, yes. New game preset. Bookmobile. Nah, I'm not going to bother to look at the ambulance. It don't matter if it had any or not. <laughs> we weren't going to likely get to anything, given the condition of the vehicle, the condition of us, and everything else. Uh, Barney. Deuce. And, I don't know. I got robbed by the golf course start last time. I mean, I could start at a library. Uh, it's not really important to do so, though. <laughs> I mean, the, the long-term challenge, it's good to have libraries, but uh, I'm still going to go with the clubhouse, I think. <laughs> What's up with the new car? Look, new tile set. Uh, it's just a new tile set. So we're moving away from the uh, undead people tile set. I was always intending to move away from it. I've just been waiting for the other tile sets to get a little bit more completion on their uh, their, their total graphics. So, but uh, between some other stuff that's happened recently with the uh, maintainer for undead tile set and uh, the other tile sets catching up, it was time to move. So, if you want more details, as noted in chat, feel free to go check on uh, Reddit. <laughs> you can see kind of what's going on. So, yeah, we're trying out some of the new tile sets. This one is Chibi Ultica. Uh, before we continue, let me take a quick break. I'm going to go grab another bottle of water. Let Zombie Dog go outside real quick. And uh, we'll make attempt number two. Hopefully we don't get robbed this time. That one was just silly. We, we got robbed a few different ways. But I will be back to uh, continue here in just a few.
Okay, thanks for holding on for me, everybody. Uh, did I miss a donation notification that went through an hour or so ago? Because <laughs> uh, it's looking like I missed it, and it was a whopper. Holy crap. Uh, did, did, did it come across on screen? <laughs> I don't see it on the main screen I'm looking at. It's off on a little tiny secondary screen for me, so I don't notice sometimes when those go through. But, um, yeah, thank you uh, very, very, very much for the, uh, the direct donation. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. Surprised uh, I didn't notice in chat when it full f came through. I don't think my chat goes back that far. <laughs> maybe maybe comments did, did come through. But, uh, yeah, greatly, greatly appreciate it. Thank you very, very much, uh, Harkai. Glad you were able to uh, get into CDDA with a little help from Vormithrax. If you're still around, <clears throat> very generous donation. Greatly appreciated. Um, what were we doing? Oh, we were dying. Yeah, I think I predicted there was going to be a lot of dying. <laughs> that one was kind of weird. Weird but fun. We, we got a few things done. I don't think I'm going to change anything. I think we just got a little screwed on the map settings and all that. We had some fun stuff. Why 4% vehicle skill? It's not my 4% vehicle skill. <laughs> I guess that answers the question earlier. I had questioned where I got the 4%. It's uh, it's probably the nomadic. Yeah, it's probably the nomadic bonus from the hobby. The uh, trucker starts with... Uh, vehicles four, and I think no bad nomadic is giving me that little extra bump. Pretty sure that's where it's coming from. We're getting some bonus skill experience, but since we already have a bunch of the skill, it's only giving me a four percent towards the next level. So it's a set value probably, and since I'm already pretty high, it uh, is only worth four percent at the level I'm already at. So there you go. That would be why. Okay, let's uh let's jump back in. Uh yeah, I have golf course. All right, this time we're going to get our golf bag. That'll make all the difference. All the difference. We're going to get our golf bag. Please, please, please. Golf bag. <laughs> Go away, stupid NPC. I wish to have a golf bag. Backup golf bag. All right, so there you go. See, I told you. I told you this one would go better. How about fitted fitted gloves? Fitted gloves! All right, wear those. Drop those. Oh, see, steel toe boots. That's why. That's another reason I lost last time. We were wearing these big clunky boots. Okay, let's check upstairs. Ooh, what do we got? <laughs> uh, nah, that's okay. I don't need any of that. Let's check our map. Oh, we got a mansion. There we go. We got a mansion right off the road nearby. Hotel, motel for a map. Possible map. We'll go check the motel first. See if we can get our map. And then we'll see if we can get our lights shining into the mansion to see if we've got easy access to some fitted chain mail and a mace. Man, how, how awesome would that be? Last time we got a scientist body sight and a soldier body sight right off the bat. This time it's going to be fitted chain mail and a mace. That's what I'm predicting. Whoa, I guess that's a grasshopper. <laughs> hey there, car. Migo, Migo Scouts. Ah, am I going to die before I make it? Ah, he's already here. <laughs> I hope he's going for the NPC. Oh, crap. Where's the scout? Scout's up north. I'm going to get to my vehicle. Yeah, he's going for the NPC. Or he's, he's trying to get to the NPC. <laughs> That'd be kind of rough. Ah, he's coming for me. Me out of here. I was hoping to grab a backup golf bag, but oh well. 
Uh, this one, we're going to have to get into the front corner building. I don't have... I think the door is locked, but we can go through the window. Just the one zombie. Alright, come here, zombie. Follow me. I just need a little tiny bit of time to get into that office and to check for a, a map. This front corner office right here is what we need. We'll just break the window, check the desk for a map, and then take off again. It's the only thing I care about. Oh yeah, I forgot to check the access card. I gotta summon it again. We once again did not start with one. Again, there's none in the vehicle. But I don't know what's going on between my version. Um, well, I can't get mine to give me the access card. Hey, why are you going south again? Okay, come on, you can see me. I don't need a ton of space, I just need a little bit. I'll summon it up and we'll check the map for it here in just a minute. So if you're not aware, there's a new scenario. Uh, modular labs have been added. There's a new large structure on the map that can appear, a logistics facility. And it's kind of like the research facility where it's a large above ground facility and then you've got underground sections that are modular labs. It's the start of the new modular lab system that's going to eventually, in the far future, after much, much further development, uh, it's going to replace the old style labs. Um, so it's one of the things I was hoping to take a look at in this particular challenge. And you can either start as a guard in that lab directly through a specific scenario, or you're supposed to be able to start as a trucker in any scenario. And the, the vehicle is supposed to have uh, this thing. But I can't get it to spawn for some reason. Uh, logistics. Nope, not logistics. Uh, not the visitor's pass. Uh, not a car either. God damn it! What was it called? <laughs> I forgot what it was called. It's not. It's not one of those. I thought it was a logistics something or other. Guess not. Uh. I don't think it was an ID. Uh, maybe it's an ID, but there's so many things that that are also on this list. Transport! That's what it was. Yeah, Transport Freight Employee Badge. I, I was thinking logistics. So, Science Transport 1. Probably use this to get into a science facility. Employee Badge for a Freight Hauler. Reverse side describes protocols for using it. This could grant one-time access to a Transport Freight Card Reader. So it'll get you the early, the easiest access into the front of the facility, basically. You still got to get through a lot of other stuff to get down into the lab portions and all that. I'm assuming. I haven't actually been to one yet. But I was told earlier in the episode that uh, this thing, you can activate to read it. And uh, you add the facilities to your map. Well, that's helpful. If we have an actual facility somewhere. <laughs> Got a facility anywhere on this map? Not seeing one. Pretty good sized cities, but I don't see any of the facilities. So that's unfortunate. Nope, no facilities. All right, well, that'll help us determine what direction we want to go, though. So we got a couple of endpoints. Yeah, we might as well just go straight north. We got this big, sprawling city we can try to hopefully take a look at. Or maybe connect over to this network. That, yeah, that's not helpful. We'll be going north. All right, so, yay. Uh, I guess we don't, well, we'll go see what map it has. It might open up other options. No map. No map. Alright, that's unfortunate. Shall we grab a stick? Yeah, let's grab a stick. Come here, zombie. Don't break my wing mirror. What the hell? Oh, I must hit a lamp. <laughs> Street lamp. 
Yep. Okay, we're still gonna go look at the uh, the mansion. So the hope is that we can point our headlights directly into the front entrance hall and see stuff on the back walls. Oh, what do we got? I see at least a weapon. A fencing foil. There we go. Fitted chainmail. Fitted chainmail. <laughs> Uh, a pike, a helmet, plate mail. <laughs> the pike sucks. I hate pikes. Where's my? Uh, I want this space here to have my uh, have my mace. <laughs> okay, now we just got to go in and get it. We got wrestlers and shock zombies and slavering biters. <laughs> Uh, fitted chain mail. I love fitted chain mail. One of my favorite armors in the game. Let's see. So we got a strong vehicle, a lot of gas. I could do a lot of uh, pied pipering. Hmm. We got a big open space that we use to uh, move things around. All right, let's uh, let's get some real noise going on. 100 sound, 120. That'll get everybody's attention. See if our milkshake will bring all the zombies to the yard. See anything else coming out of there yet, which is pretty good news for us. Hey you, you necro? Ooh, got a necro in to add it in. I'm a little afraid of that rassler. I'm gonna let that rassler get too close and he's gonna pluck me right out of my vehicle. <laughs> I'm gonna do one of these turns here and he's going to be right next to me. I'm going to be a sad boy. At least there's no fast movers. Maybe I can get these guys to all come down to play with amigos. That'd be fun. Oh, now some now somebody else comes out of the mansion. <laughs> all right, let's uh just about far enough. Ants? What, what? What am I looking at over here? Ah, uh, crows. All right, let's hope that's far enough. Go ahead and uh, take a long, circuitous route here. Make sure they can't see me. I don't mind dodging one or two zombies. Ooh, grappler zombie would be a little rough. Take the time to move these guys or just run in and try to grab stuff. I should take the time. <clears throat> We've got a pretty good opportunity here. If we can get a hold of chain mail and one or two other items in there. I'll give us a huge survivability boost. And now a Shrieker Zombie has shown up. Damn it! This is what I hate. Draw stuff away and then all of a sudden more and more and more stuff keeps just popping out of there. Come on everybody. Dead caught up. Get in the same group. 
Ah, the southern guys are coming back north. No. I don't want to honk the horn because I don't want to pull that southern group back up here. <laughs> well, I lead these group, this group away, end up having the southern group relocate back to where we started. And I've made no progress. But we got the fatigue timer that we're fighting against here. I can't spend too much time doing this. Without using the horn, I gotta make sure these guys can see me in order to keep drawing them. Come on, slave ring biter! You laggard! Slave ring biter's pissing me off. Now he's just sitting there. <laughs> he's, that I can't afford to just sit leave him there. I might have to run him over on our way back down. Well, now he's got back into it. All right, let's uh, let's hope that's far enough. Keep them going that way. We'll circle this and hope the southern guys have not relocated. Come on. Oh, that's not good. Come on, nice clean approach, please. I think I'm gonna stop the vehicle out here so I don't the noise doesn't pull more guys from inside the uh, the mansion. All right, and I'll leave that open. Stop running! Give fitted chainmail, please. It's fitted as well. <laughs> All right, uh, sure, sure. So we're still looking at just the pike. I think it's still just the pike. That's unfortunate. Wow, am I vastly overweight? Yeah, we're vastly overweight. <laughs> I forgot we can carry so little. Um, um... That's an aluminum pike. That's a replica. We don't want that. That's a budget steel version. That's also not a really good one. So, pretty slow. <laughs> I waited to catch my breath, and it did not restore me to full stamina. <laughs> okay, first thing, let's get this stuff out to the vehicle. Look at that stamina drop. Alright, goodbye ornamental plate, goodbye pike. Still overweight. Ouch. Man, this guy can't carry anything. Um, 53 pounds. Well, that's a problem. Love it when they do that. Ah, and he already broke through the window and is directly adjacent to me. <laughs> so annoying. So annoying when you do that. Hmm. Yeah, it's pretty loud when that stuff happens. I'm trying to decide is it worth. I don't think it's worth trying to investigate through the mansion further. Small chance we can find a few medical items. Man, I totally didn't think about that 53 carry weight. Ouch. Damn you, bad back. Damn you.
Yeah, lighter shoes would help. I gotta go with the chainmail. We'll try to get some sneakers. There's not much else I can really do other than just not carry heavy stuff. Chainmail's gonna pretty much do me in for my carry capacity. 36 pounds all by itself. If I want the protection, which you do, I'm gonna put us right at the edge of our carry weight continuously. Alright, I think we've gotten the bulk of the good stuff, so let's go ahead and take off. I might as well ditch that ornamental plate. There's no way we'll ever be able to wear it. But it's in the vehicle. Alright, stop here for a second. I don't want to listen to that stupid breathing. So we're tired already. Of course, 9 o'clock, 1 hour. At uh, 10 o'clock, 2 hours, we're going to be dead tired. We have no food, no water. Um, already lost a wing mirror? Damn it. I want to know what the end point is down here. Warehouse. Not worried about a warehouse. Nature Trail is also not useful. Blue truck. Truck. Um, I'm just going to smash the wing mirrors off. Normally I'd hop out and grab the wing mirrors and maybe a few other things, but not critical for now. <laughs> Beehive right on the edge of town. Uh, and a corpse pit right on the edge of town. Even better. I didn't really get an opportunity last time to try to sneak into any houses either. We had just terrible setup. Howdy, howdy, win scale. Thanks very much for resubbing once again. And we got forest on the edge here too, so we're stuck driving through the middle of town to try to get to the good stuff. I can't get a good view of the area. Let's see if this forest blocks us north-south completely or if I can get over to that other road network. I'm hopeful we can get over there. Nope. Oh, so close. So close. I don't have any fire making capability. Ooh. Are these tree stumps? It is a tree stump. Don't think I'd be able to wend my way through there. I'm assuming tree stumps are going to stop my movement. One, two, three, four. Yeah. I wouldn't have a direct path through that. Uh, it's looking like it's going to stop me. It's probably going to come all the way down and wrap around. I don't think I have a direct connection over here. That sucks. So close. No, I have not seen a Survivor RV yet. We've seen the Survivor car. We briefly got to use it once. Corpse of an oversized crow. All right. Yeah, it's going to be all the way down. Well, that's unfortunate. All right, let's go out the other way. I'd like to find a spot where I can kind of skim along the edge of the residential area. This time, maybe try a few houses. If I can find some unoccupied ones. <laughs> I 
<laughs> really? Really? <laughs> I hate the way it builds these sometimes. Uh, once, once again. Well, um, gonna force me either to go right through the middle of town again. I think I'm gonna take a little more time driving before I make the decision. A whole bunch of slimes and slime pits. Uh, they really don't like the sound of the vehicle. Poor slimes got sensitive ears. Flaming eyes. Where's the portal? No portal? Just just a bunch of cracks and flaming eyes for no reason? Where's the portal? Hey, mansion. <laughs> Time to hook around again. Uh, rose turkeys. Ah, acid ants. I mean, good for some reasons, bad for some reasons. Another corpse pit. I haven't seen where the nest is at. They're once again going to cut me off. Arrgh! So annoying. That's different. Hey, fungal flowers. Not hard to miss a bunch of purple. It's not good. Already almost an hour and a half in, we haven't really been able to get to a city that I wasn't going to be forced to drive right through the middle of, which I'm trying to avoid this time. Well, we made it to a road network, but um, I mean, a small city would be great if it's got a pharmacy. It's just the chances that it'll have one is so much smaller. Don't. More wasps. Wasps, wasps, wasps. Don't need any of that. Let's go this way. Still got wasps. Come on, what are you at the end of this road? Ah, uh, radio tower. It's a wasp radio tower. <laughs> We're two for two. On radio towers with wasp nests so far. Hey, zombie dog. What you doing, bunny? Giant ladybugs. Are giant ladybugs dangerous? Okay, Plimpton. Yeah, <laughs> with a corpse pit right next to you. 
And forests. Blocking my path again. Armored car, huh? Faulty engine. Uh, probably not drivable between the faults and the security system. One of the big advantages of the Humvee is it does not have a security system. Garage right next to a pool, huh? <laughs> and I smash into a... Uh, stop. Can they see me? Not yet. They can probably hear the vehicle, though. Where? Headlamp. Regular boots versus steel toed. I'm going to hold out for the good stuff. I would like a wrench. Holy mask, miscellaneous repair kit, drive belt. Not seeing anything else. I'd have to get to the far side. A bunch of that stuff's going to either see me. Yeah, they're going south, huh? Hmm. Okay. I don't have a hammer yet, so I don't have a way of opening these crates. Oh, no crates? No crates. <clears throat> Arc welder and a torch. That's pretty good stuff, typically. At the moment, I need basic tools more. Acetylene torch. We have no carry capacity on this poor guy. It's going to make lugging torches around problematic as well. I'm not going to try to take those with us right now. We got the wrench. We can get screwdrivers and hammers from uh, just houses. Alright, so. No sign of a pharmacy. Or dock office. And we're already connecting down to Morris. PC. No ambulances. Alright, so that town is mostly useless to us unless we could find a house or two. But looking like the chances of that are. Eh, maybe. We don't have a knife yet. <laughs> uh, 
No tools at all, huh? Book, I'm not worried about one book. Whoops, here comes the zombie dog. And another one. No. <laughs> exactly what I didn't need. Uh, I got no way out of here except back the way I came. He'll come in through the window. I'll circle around. Dog will come out. So far, we're okay. We've already searched most of the house. Didn't find too much, unfortunately. Whoops. Well, that wasn't what I was wanting. Huh. Let's go. Whoops. <laughs> oh, crap. Oh, crap. Um, <laughs> we're in trouble. Um, where did you guys come from? This area was completely clear when I parked here. I've only been in there like a minute. <laughs> um, ah, I don't have enough distance from them to break contact and get into my vehicle safely. I need to pull them away. I'm betting we're going to fall on our ass if I try to go up and then down a drain pipe. Hmm, yeah, this is not good. It went from bad to worse to frying pan bad. Huh. Yeah, I am a little puzzled. I mean, I got all these guys coming up from this direction for some reason. I know the thing's loud, but... We should be able to see about the radius that it has noise, and there was nothing in this area. So, where exactly all these guys came from, I I don't know. Uh, what do we got? Is that a drain pipe over there? I don't recognize some of the building infrastructure. Yeah, that's got to be the got to be the pipe. So it's way over there, huh? If I step, I'd have to smash, smash. And climb in. Hope somebody isn't already waiting for me here. Try to lead a chase through the building at 89 speed. Alternately, I can go this way around the vehicle. These guys will pull towards me this way. And if I'm if I'm slow enough, <laughs> they'll all be down past the door when I loop around. I think that's still my best bet. And hopefully the zombie child steps out and kind of tries to follow me as well. Alright, so let's go uh, walk mode. Do I dare chance the grab? I need that zombie child to get out of the damn doorway. I really need that zombie child to step out of the doorway. Thank you, zombie child, <laughs> for the small favor. All right, now we're trying to gauge stamina versus speed because I got to make it all the way around the vehicle and get into the driver's seat. And we're already super low stamina. And I'm overweight. Yep. That's going to get worse and worse. Our stamina is going to totally tank. We might not be able to get into the vehicle before we, uh, we have to drive. But I don't really have a better choice, so... I knew they'd get tied up there. I'm going to switch back to walk mode. Alright, let's go forward, but turn. Alright. Uh, this away.
Okay, not too much bad consequence there. Got some isolated houses over here. Yeah, the noise this thing makes is really causing me more problems than I expected. Trying to pull some of these away. What the? <laughs> I love it. See all the dull, flat gray of the vehicles? <laughs> Somebody likes bikes, apparently. Bikes get special attention. <laughs> hmm. 38's almost gun level? Uh, no. <laughs> gun level's like 150. <laughs> Gun level's way, way higher. 38's only like shouting range. Um, I think even whistles are like 50 or 100 or something like that. I forget. Yeah, somebody, somebody likes bikes. Getting some special favor. So, do we play Pied Piper with some local zombies in the hopes of being able to loop back to the city? Or loop back into some houses? I love how some of these guys are just totally ignoring me and going their own way. Oops. Dang it. That's a woodland white. That's not a good one. My passenger door is open still too. Plus, I have broken windows. It's looking like the forest is going to come down a match or meet up against the edge of the city here. That's going to be a problem. I got to be super careful around that thing. That thing's super fast. And we'll be able to squeak around a bit. Alright, it's time to. Oh, dare I get out here if that woodland white is, was so close? I want to get out and check this house, but I better not. Headless horror, hunters, swat zombies, ferals. Ah, stop hitting boulders. Still no sign of an ambulance. Another roadblock. Been a lot of roadblocks lately. Hello, soldier body site. Uh, inactive C4 hack. So, we got some M4s. I just gotta somehow draw the soldiers away after they kill that hack. I guess I could ram the crowd. I'd just be afraid I'd hit the, hit the, the building before I finished <laughs> sliding. And it looks like we got a doghouse up here. There's going to be a million dogs coming out of that thing. That's going to make it even harder to get a hold of these guns. Um, hmm. Crack's done. Soldiers are traveling. All right. Let's, uh, hey, we're dead tired already. <laughs> Not even 10 o'clock this time. Need to, whoops. Need to leave my stick. What do you think? Oh, huge pile of zombies. <laughs> no! I want the M4. Show me how many bullets you have before I run over to you. So I'm not going to have an opportunity to... I think it'd be better if I brought the vehicle over. Drive the vehicle over, grab it, grab it, turn around, and leave. I'll probably have to leave these two, because I'll get surrounded by these. 
Yeah, I don't want to be so far from the vehicle. Soldiers and the survivors are already coming. Not even going to get that second one. Soldiers are moving way faster than I thought. <laughs> 